Good afternoon everybody, I'm Mike, um, and more importantly, this is Tethered. Um, so, we first got to play this at EGX, um, and I approached Secret Sorcery afterwards because I absolutely adored it, um, and they were kind enough to give us a copy of it early. So I'm actually just going to jump straight in. It's a god game, basically, um, and it's actually the first game both myself and Will have played since PSVR came out just over a week ago. Um, that it's like a game that you want to go back and play more of as opposed to being like, oh, that's cool. I could get more into that. It's like immediately you're like, sweet, I want to get more of this. Um, it's a god game and you oversee a little island. Um, and as you look down on it, you have these little fellas that appear, which are these guys up here. Um, and they're called peeps. And they appear and you need to keep them alive during the day and gather resources and help basically level them up. Um, and you use those skills and abilities to then keep them alive during the night when things come and attack. Um, there is more to it, which we'll see when we get into it, um, and but I wanted to quickly show you, um, tutorial level is great, um, but we're going to go straight to the first one, is that there is, if it will load, hopefully it will, yeah, so oh god it's gone up a lot now, um, I'm currently 8 in the world at level 2, um, and yeah, this so there is like a kind of high score system to get through it quicker, um, you may ask how do we complete the levels quicker, well, you gather something called spirit energy, and when the spirit energy fills up to the target that's required, which I think it showed you here, yeah, spirit energy target 320. When it's filled up to its target requirement, it ends the level for you. Um, so yeah, this is the load screen, we're gonna get ready to go. So, this is immediately the beauty that it puts you into, which is just great. Um, the feeling that you get, actually, is that this is a really tiny planet, and you really do get that God-style feeling, because you can look into it and Lean in and oh, here's our first peep arriving. Anyway, there he goes. So, if I just grab the sun, so everything works here by tethering. Press and hold X when you look at things, and then tether it to it. And that's now got a tether to it. So that sun's now going to go warm up that egg, and it's going to hatch, and we're going to get our first peep. So this is wood. This is like an, a type of ore they have, and there is stone somewhere, which I'll show you in a second. But this is our new friend. Hit triangle, and we should get some information on him. His name is Noala. I'm going to guess that's a female. Um, and I'm going to send her to go and do that. So this is how you start every lot. There, there's a stone there. Um, and you just send them to, to gather the resources. So she's going to do some weird praying stuff. And it's going to give us our temple. Yep, yeah, so you get these little pots here that show you how many resources you've got. Each one represents each of the resources you get across the map. Now, let's get Nuala and send her to go read that book as more eggs arrive and more sun arrives. So, you get the egg and bring that over there. So, it starts off quite easy, it does actually get quite hectic. So, field knowledge, I'll get to that in a second. What you want to do as soon as you get started get as much food as possible. So let's send her over there to get that. And let's send him, who is called Alice. That's a girl's name as well, brother Alice. Uh, to go gather some wood. Um, so great way to, I'll explain the system in a second. You look around in this by selecting the clouds and just hit X and you teleport there. So now I can watch Noala doing her work over here from close. There you go, she's on the way to deliver some food. Um, so the weather all gives different benefits. If I've put that tornado on the island now, it's going to push her along a bit and make her move a lot faster, which is rad. That's like, there's a, a massive amount of depth in this game, um, in the fact that you start off with really, really basic things like just go here and collect this and do that, but you can tether clouds to buildings to store them. Um, oh, if you know goes and hatches that. Um, you can tether yeah, weather to buildings and store it, or for example, you can put these two bad weathers together. Oh, that one's gone away. But I can use that rain to bring more trees back. Um, I can use this snow, I believe, on the stone to help generate more stone. So the, we the weather system adds a whole new level of to it. Now, you might be wondering, why am I sucking up weird blue things and why is it causing that to peak numbers on it? That's because Everything in this game is determined on spirit energy and you complete the level by gathering as much spirit energy as humanly possible. So you can gather it this way or alternatively 
you can get your little peeps to go mine to these over here, which are crystals, and that gives you more spirit energy. So I'm going to use that sunlight to hatch that other egg, and I've got quite a lot of peeps going on there. These two lads are gathering food, um, and he, she's gathering some more wood. So I'm going to start needing stone soon, so let's get this chap on the stone. Got plenty of food, and we do have a stock, quite a bit in there. But we're going to take this up a notch and do some building. So you select a peep, and you select a plot, that's a little plot there. And then you can start building things, so I actually need more stuff. Um, I need more stone, more wood, sorry, for the field. Uh, it's ore for that kind of stuff. But you find these artifacts, which are those little books I saw earlier, and that's how you unlock every item in the game. Set that up. So, get a bit more wood, and then we should be able to... There's a whole triangle. Ten, there you go. So when he, she delivers that now, there should be plenty of stuff for everyone. So one of the elements in this game is something called despair as well. So your peeps want to be working. Um, so you keep them working, and then when they're not working, they generate something called despair. It's alarmingly easy to let them fall into despair, like incredibly easy. And when they fall into despair, they actively commit suicide. So there's a number of ledges, there's one just there. I think there's like a ledge on each, each island, and they will walk over to the edge and they will jump off. That's right, these little adorable creatures will kill themselves if you don't put them to work. Um, and that's something that, again, we'll see later when night time comes, can become quite an easy thing to do. It's quite easy to interrupt tasks. Um, so he's just like a move all which we'll go into in a second. Um, let's get that sun straight onto that egg. And he's now farming that field. So now we've got a farm. Better way to gather resources. What you can also do, though, is you can, if I selected him to work on the farm and await, I can then upgrade that farm. Alright, there we go. There we go. Um, I can upgrade the farms, which make pumpkin patch, poppy fields, and potato fields. So every time you make a building, or you upgrade the building, it makes it behave differently. So I'll go into details now. This field upgrade changes its crop into poppies. That's fine. They're going to be eaten. That's fine. But crystals will find the sweet poppy scent irresistible. So you could, for example, put the poppy field there, and put a watchtower there, which we'll get into in a minute. And that means that all the monsters from this kind of area of the map will always be attracted to that poppy field, so you can keep them away if you meet people. Let's get um, someone's working on stone, let's get working on some more, shall we? Right, everyone's at work. So now it's somewhat of a waiting game. Right, let's get some people to move a bit faster. There you go, just to go rocket a bit fast. Um, to kind of address the, the early elephant, elephant in the room with PSCR, no nausea from this at all. Um, I don't feel anything, I think, many, I mean, people may be susceptible to vertigo looking down like that, um, but I'm, I've never had anything from it at all. Um, right, so I've got the weather there. If I get that, there we go, let's improve that resource by setting the sun on the fields. What I'm trying to show you, so it's now getting pretty dark, so, um, Night time is coming. Doesn't hurt your neck that much, but well, at all, actually. Uh, we were playing for quite a few hours yesterday, um, and not much happened. So now this thing's turned up, and these are the monsters. So you can set your peeps to battle them, like that, and they'll attack them. A lot of them will walk straight past, and usually one can take one. But what you can also do is you can combine two negative weathers. Basically, anything that isn't sunny is, is, is a negative weather. Um, let's get him back on that. And you can use that lightning then to zap and kill things. You can accidentally kill your peeps. So be careful. Right, let's set you to go fight that and you to do the same. So you kind of really you just need to keep tabs on if you think at night time. But the first couple of nights you can usually um, you can usually keep yourself alive pretty easily. The monsters will drop resources, which is just a nice little bonus to things. Um, just kind of keep an eye on everyone the first couple of nights. Because um, sun, sunlight will come pretty quickly, so if I combine that and that and kill that, it should be fine. Keep an eye on everyone. No one's getting big enough, are they? Right, let's get back to work. Oh, no. Should be very prof 
furtive like that, and then those two should. Don't die. Oh no, help your friend out. Alright, we should be okay now. And I'll drop spirit essence for you to keep making sure you're harvesting. Obviously, you'll harvest it past 30 for a close Oh, a little thing went off over there. Right, let's get that down to the ore. It's not really much use for anything, so I'll let that time out. Right then, field. And got the normal food. Um, right, so those guys' health are low, because they're going in a bit of a scrap there. It will restore over time. However, you can give them more stealth by giving them more health, sorry, by giving them more armor and stuff like that. Um, and you can also upgrade them. Um, uh, but they also will regenerate health over time, or you can send them to the pub and stuff like that, or, or, and, and they'll, uh, they'll restore some energy from that. Let's get that guy while he's there to go read that book. So it's quite important actually just keep looking around and keep moving to the different cameras. Uh, there are some levels that have really well placed cameras, um, but you will eventually have to look around just because it allows you to get a view, better viewpoint on everything. Let's send a nice resource in back away. So it starts off quite easy like this, but you very quickly end up having quite a large amount to do. So if I do build the barracks there, that'll be great. So the barracks, these military buildings allow you to turn regular peeps into heroes. Each barrack you build, two peeps can become heroes. So, there we go. so build us a barracks. So to introduce that, there's this system here. I refer to it as university. But once you build a moot hall, which is like a town hall, you can improve people. Um, and make them into like miners or several other woodsmen. Capable of feeling trees quicker than most. Felling, sorry. <laughs> and retrieving larger quantities of useful wood than any other peep. So it basically just upgrades everyone. Um, so there's actually a vast amount of depth. And this is great. This is one of my favourite things about the game. Is that these all fall from the sky. It's like a really elegant way of dealing with everything in this game. Um, which I find lovely. And there's quite a whole high skill cap as well in the respect that, where is it you're going to? In the respect that um, there's always more to do and there can, or can always be more to do. Right, let's build some more stuff, what else can get onto building? Uh, let's build that minute all we need. What's wrong with him? He's wandering. Right, we've got a farmer. Oh, something happened to that egg. So yeah, if you leave an egg for too long, it'll turn bad and it'll turn into this little grub thing and run away. Um, so I must have made a mistake there somewhere. I'm gonna stick a rock up his backside. Stick the soil on that field. Nope, sit the on the... Oh, well, it's gonna follow him with it. No. Give him a little grenades. Yeah, if you set the... If you actually set the weather on people, then you can upgrade them. So that guy, I think, he now gets some projectiles. Yeah, he's now carrying grenades, which is the weirdest thing that anyone's ever gained from weather. So if I triangle him now, yeah, he's now carrying grenades. So next time he gets in a fight, you can chuck a grenade at someone. This will just make him wet. I'll move something there, because we're running out. Right, you are going to be responsible for this egg. Yeah, you can also get the peeps to do the most adorable thing on the planet, and they will actually, sorry, go and sit on the egg. And he'll just sit there until it hatches. Just love her. Right. Now let's get into the game a bit more. I think we're explaining those things. Um, I gotta build us something else while you're in. Uh, barracks, I've got all these already. I need to find the artifact. Is there any artifacts around? Seems to have plenty of resources. It's usually by having one person on everything at all times, you should be fine for resources. And if I send this chap over here to go mine some stuff, and you wanna go do something. Let's turn this into a watchtower and I'll show that off in a second. So I'm gonna wanna, now I've got a watchtower, set someone to stone. Watchtower is nice, obviously it's a watchtower. 
It's a nice tall tower. Um, give him some extra defence. Um, yeah, so this now will give him extra defence and make him tougher. Just me. The sun on the fields again. And um, when he's finished, actually, he can immediately be changed. He goes sit on the egg. You don't want bad eggs. Yeah, so that watchtower now is going to use up stone resources, which are gathered from here. So he's going to go man that. Um, we're going to gather from here. It's going to use that to fight things off. So if he can turn that into a poppy field. He can go mine that, and now knights come in. They keep everyone busy, keep everyone working, some people are a bit hungry. That's now a poppy field, and that's fine. So we've now got a poppy field, and that poppy field, theoretically, is now going to attract extra peeps, extra of those monsters. Um, so he's straight into battle over here. Everyone's getting a bit hungry now, so I might have to get some more people gathering food. It's quite good actually, what I find is quite useful is to keep keep people busy during the battle time. Um, it's quite easy for them to get distracted and well, do nothing basically. Because um, these guys are going to run around and they're going to eat some of your resources, which is annoying. But you can always refill the resources. However, once a peep's gone, it's going to take you a while to, to get it back. So everyone's gathering food now, so we should get plenty of food. Oh, there you go. So that guy's just soon throw a grenade then. Which is pretty savage. Because yeah, they're nearby, they should all stop and fight, and we should get a nice little battle going on there. I like to um, keep all my fighting in one area, because then that way. That way, all my guys are fighting together. No one's getting singled out. Um, so we should. Oh no! We've lost one. So he just floated off to the other side. I think that was a bigger slug, and that's why we couldn't take it. What's going on there? All right, he hasn't got enough stone to fight the battles with. So everyone, go get us some stone. And we're also going to be very, very short on food by the time daytime comes out. Let's get some See, it very quickly gets quite hectic. Right, let's get a big guy, because he's going to cause us some trouble. Is. Right, and here comes the time. Here comes the sun. It actually, because you're so close into it, obviously being in via VR headset, um, it, it does get a lot more. The night time actually feels like night time. Like when, the, when you feel the darkness setting, do you know what I mean? <laughs> right, so let's get ready for the next wave. There are some resources there that have been lost, but never mind. So you don't have to do anything. Right, let's keep our watch resources high. Right, now everyone's back to work. What will happen, which I'll do towards the end of the level, um, is that lightning. Yes, it's lightning. You can use the lightning to, de to dis delete any of these platforms if, if you want. That's what you're into. So the lightning's kind of like the delete tool. If you've got something that you built that you want to change or anything like that, you can just do that with it. Right, now everyone's at work. We've got two guys working the fields. He's getting some ore, he's getting wood. And one guy thinks so. Something. So we could do actually with a couple more peeps while he's there. Get that book for us. Become something of a waiting game until you get some more peeps, actually. Right, let's fill up some defense. Great, right, temple knowledge. That is. 
build a quick temple. So temples are quite cool because you can actually use temples to to gain extra resources. You can kind of trade in some resources for others. Um, don't worry about that. That could be used to speed him up. And we've got another egg. Which means you are an egg tutor. Yeah, so the temples you can actually use to gain other resources or use resources to give you peeps extra buffs and things like that. It's all very good. Right, let's build a temple. Bit of rain, do that for trees. Sweet, another egg. Back to the fields. And we can do actually what we're shortest on. Plenty of wood. Um we've got two guys working on food already. Metal and stone. Actually we've got quite a lot going on, so I'm gonna put us in another field over there. Because we're a bit short on food at the moment. Well, we've got two guys working that farm. We can do an extra farm clearly. And this chap's just going to sit here, get building. Let's build a workshop this time. So what's quite good actually with this watchtower is it's going to keep that guy safe. So you just pop him in the watchtower and it'll keep everything defended. And you just kind of, I think I need to start stocking up on food and get start planning for the night time. So let's see if we can turn that into something better already. Potato field. Gone. I heard the sound of an egg. Oh, it is. So where is it? Okay, no. Don't want under the bag egg there. Right, on that field. So I've got some more defence. And we should be onto a winner here. Right, now there's, you can see there's quite a lot going on there. Right, you were that field. You there. Right on that. Let's see what we can turn this to. So, alchemist. Details. Transmute the most abundant resource in the store to the least abundant one. So you could theoretically have everybody working that woodland over there, or the ore that's just behind there. So you could have everybody doing that because it's quite a short distance, or everyone working this farm here. Um, and then you can have the alchemy. Alchemist will be automatically turning the abundance of that resource into whatever you've got the least of. So for example, It'll give us some extra food if we're running short on food and things like that, which is really good and incredibly useful. Um, the Cloud Buster, that's the one where you can tether your cloud to the building and, and store it. So if you've got some sunshine that you want to save for the next egg and things like that, or you can see one of your fields is running low, but it's night time, tether that sunshine and then you can use it later. I like to tether the lightning just in case things get a bit dodgy and I need the lightning for an attack. Um, and then the Blacksmith, grinding wheel, it, it, you can send your peeps there and it keeps their weapons a lot, a lot stronger, basically. But I'm going to use that because I could do some extra resources. If you want to get back to work in the farm, and you get back to work in this farm, it should be good to go. Right, night time's coming again. And everyone's hungry, which is useful. Right, let's get some bad weather in. Get ready. And then we can get this chap, once he's finished building, back into the watchtower, because we should now. Alright, he's starving, he's very hungry, this bloke. Means it was short on food. But why is he hungry when we've got plenty of food? Right, I've got 11 pieces of stone. On that egg, you into the watchtower. And now everyone else should be busy working. Right, I've got that. That rain can work on the trees. And it's got that egg ready to go. So, Give this chap with some grenades because you can always use extra grenades. Food. And so what you could theoretically do actually is get everyone at night time working on generating stone because then you know where everyone's gonna be at all times. So a tactic I found that was useful later on in the game is to just, is just keep everyone working on the same thing. So once everyone's next back, start keeping an eye on everyone. So it's a fight going on over here. Help him out. Right, stone. 
Yeah, it's done. Let's keep everyone now on that part of the So you, stone. You, stone. You, stone. You, stone. So now I can basically ignore that side of the map because as long as we've got plenty of stone, that guy should keep a lot of stuff protected. He's got his grenades, but concentrate on the turn. Don't die out there by himself. Oh no. Right, let's send him over. Uh, yeah, so run, 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 run. Oh god. Right, so they're all low health and stuff, but they're all together. And that's the key thing, so there's not enough stone at the moment to keep using that tower. A lot of peeps ready to fight. Leave no peep behind. When it's going on quite busy like this, it is a little bit tricky to keep track of everything. Because um, you can quite easily just lose a peep. Um, but as long as there's stone being delivered, there you go, you saw that, then you're firing. Firing away. I think they're starting to retreat. Ah, no one's fighting the good fight. Plenty of food, everyone should heal. So once the horrifying screams have ended, it's actually quite chilling because you're stuck in there. Right, there we go. One guy on the farm, two guys on that farm. One on that farm, one on that farm. So we've got two people working on each farm. You there can work on that. You can work on, see the way he's getting all glum already? It's because he's got no meat, no purpose. Right, let's get some of that back. And you get some of that back. We should now. Have someone working on everything. Oh no, he's lost his meaning. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do now actually. If I hover on that for ages, I can turn that into, same as any other resources, I can turn it into a quarry or stone or um, ore, so you can turn it into like mines and things like that. Um, and it upgrades the amount of, of resources you can get from that area. Upgrade with the quarry, replenishing the resource with the appropriate weather, fully resource the stocks. Um, you get, need to get a lot more of everything in there, but he's going to carry on busing himself with that. Lots of people working on food. That should keep our friends nice and happy. I say should, because they all look like they're starving at the minute. A bit of spirit essence there. The sun back on there, so we've got plenty of grip for that moment. He doesn't know what he's doing, so I'm going to send him on this food gathering. No, no, I'm going to send him that spirit essence. So you do get these, these crystals of spirit essence appearing. And they are useful if you want to end the level quicker. Play in that field at the moment. You can play it quite well at a long distance. There you go, keep that stopped up. Everyone here is nice and busy. I think we're good for food actually. No, not that much because well, it's been eaten so. Wood, loads of wood. Not a huge mess of ore or stone. There we go. More everything, please. There should be someone. Oh, there's a lot to do at all times. It doesn't really give you a break, so it looks all cutesy and, and fun, but it's, it gets quite tricky after a bit. I'm determined not to. This is actually the best I've ever done. <laughs> so you saw 184 on there. That means we're, we're getting pretty close now to our 320 target, especially if we're, if we're getting all stocked up and ready for the night. What I am going to do, however, is get this guy working on a pub. How do we get a pub again? It's not moving anywhere. Oh, it's upgrade the moot store, isn't it? Upgrade that to a tavern. 
So Clogmaker is going to guys make, make you guys walk faster. Hatchery is going to help um, take out some luck. Use lightning on the hatchery to unleash Frankenpea. I don't know what that is, big monster. Automatically captures and stores any egg that falls, so it stops you losing your eggs basically. But we're going to get the tavern or the pub uh, because it allows us to help increase the health on these guys. So the first thing we're going to do now, as soon as that's built, is just get everyone to go to the pub. Uh, the pub is very useful for the night time as well because it helps me pop everyone in the same place and keep them all together. So as long as I've got plenty of you there, sir, get to work on some stone for me and do some extra stone. Let's just get everyone to work on stone for the time being. The more stone you can gather for the night time, the better because the more that guy's got. Fine. Do need more of that. Plenty of wood. And food. You could theoretically, with the alchemists, abandon um, one of your resources for a lot of my losing that rain in the wood. And that, um, it's like night time's coming. Let's get him healed. Tavern's built. Got plenty of food for the night now. So let's get everyone healed up. You can hear the music from the tavern when you get real close to it. See, this guy's lacking some meaning. There you go. They get sad if you give them nothing to do. Right, night time is approaching. Everyone is healthy and fit, and we have quite a large amount of stone now, really. Let's get that rain. No, let's go out, save the rain. Twenty-two, that's fine. So that thing will shoot twenty-two times. Sweet, everyone's healed up. Right. So let's get everyone fighting that guy. And we can do the same. And I'll suck up that in the meantime. <laughs> As long as everyone's stood around together, they should all just stand and fight. Yeah, there's loads of them so they're all just doing a cracking old job keeping one apart. Like he is looking to be in a pretty bad way, and I don't want to lose him. Into the pub. Run. Keep gathering the spirit essence. Right, I've got one guy over there. I might be a little bit trapped. I really like using the pub because it just means I can get everyone healed up quite quickly. Right, to the pub, run! Oh, it's going to get caught, isn't it? Right, I've got a couple of here fighting. Stand and fight. What we don't want as well is all these people dying and their valuable spirit energy to go anywhere. Ah, there we go. I think we're going to be alright because they're all going to turn away. Sweet. So, these guys are heels. It's very important that you put them back to work as soon as possible. It's, it's a rinse and repeat process. But it does get vastly more difficult every time. Let's get the spirit and juice kid. Don't want to leave people without jobs for too long now. Right, sweet. Um, what do we need? Ore, stone, wood. Right. Field. Field. You there. Field. You there. 
Field, you there. In there. I've got to watch out for those question marks because they will, they will deteriorate quite quickly. You, stone. You, you, or. No, I believe everyone's busy as long as we've got enough stuff to be doing. A bit more stone. Rain cloud, wood. You, um, let's send you on upgrade duty. You can go around and upgrade all of our resources. So let's have a look. Build a plantation. So that's going to upgrade the wood. Right, I think we, I think we're really starting to get there now. Oh, where's it going? Don't you dare get away from that edge. Um, let's build a little workshop. No, let's build a workshop. So you see, everyone's healed a lot faster this time around because we had so much food. I did quite well during the night. Alright, what can we turn that into? Cloudbuster or a blacksmith? What can we do with a blacksmith? That gives us better weapons. So I'm gonna do that. Because we can do some we do some armed some men that are armed to the teeth. I think I might, I might make it this time. Keep remembering to grab all the spirit energy and make sure that that guy over there isn't killing himself. There it is. Ah, I need resources, so let's get you. Let's get you working the alchemist. Yes, it's getting there. What am I on? 05, 06, 07, 08, 09, another one there, 10. Look the fields. You might as well work the same story if you're right there. Right, keeping everyone busy, I am. I might as well give them some grenades. Stick a rock up his bum. Lacking with food, aren't we? Oh, so he's just taking some wood there. And he's going to turn it into stone by the looks of things. One, two, three, four. Hold on. Fifteen. Five more. Five more before night time. Two more before night time. One, two. And that, my friends, is going to be the end of that. Uh, everyone does this nice little celebration thing where they all praise me, which is delightful. It's a wonderful mix of both the most terrifying and stressful and enjoyable and adorable game that I've ever played in my entire life. And you feel powerful and it feels fun and it, you forget that it's in VR because it just works. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is tethered. Um, it's out the 25th of October. It's priced fantastically considering it's a massive game, there's 13 levels like this. And, I mean, I've played for about four or five hours now, and I struggle still, and there's so much more to do. So yeah, check out Tethers. Oh, also, it does give you a rating for each level, so I'm benign. And that's how we'll end the video, with me being referred to as benign. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smash it, but you know how weirdly good I am at miniclip games. That Mate, was... he's bad at backflipping. Yeah, because you backflipped off a ram that was about an inch off the ground. <laughs> what an asshole, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's just making bang. Did you just hit a scorpion? <laughs>